Firstly, gastrointestinal system. So, the symptoms associated are abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, heartburn, altered bowel habit, abdominal distension, bleeding, dysphagia, odinophagia, and loss of appetite. Dysphagia is difficulty in swallowing, which may occur due to problem in oropharynx or in esophagus. While odinophagia is a painful swallowing that may limit oral intake. Abdomen examination should be performed in a systematic manner and this includes inspection, palpation, percussion and auscultation. Procedure should be clearly explained to the patient. After that we start with inspection. During inspection, patient should be supine and abdomen should be adequately exposed. The inspection should be performed under proper lighting conditions. In inspection, we note down the shape of the abdomen, umbilicus, movement of abdominal wall and prominent veins present over abdomen and skin. Shape of the abdomen may be distended or shrunken. Umbilicus may be inverted or horizontal as in ascites. Movement of the abdominal wall may be absent. Visual pulsations can be seen or there can be visible peristalsis. Skin of the abdomen is shiny or smooth in marked distension. Purple stria can be seen in Cushing syndrome. Pink or white linear marks produced by cross stretching of abdomen as in ascites and pregnancy. After inspection, we do palpation which begins anticlockwise from left iliac fossa. During palpation, we see for tender areas, organomegaly and fluid cell. Fluid cell detects the presence of free fluid in the abdomen. The normal note of abdomen percussion is tympanic. Percussion is useful in com Confirming the enlargement of liver and spleen and detecting fluid in the peritoneal cavity. Shifting dullness is a sign of moderate ascites and can be absent when the ascites is tense. The vowel sounds are heard in auscultation in iliac fossa.